Super Mobile. Welcome back, everybody. Great Cognitions of the Game today, and we are playing some more Factorio. Uh, we have this old beauty here, and I'm going to temporarily stuff this beauty down, say, well, let's make it so that it's long enough to kind of properly come down here, and then uh, here. Now, what are we using for power here? We're using the tiny ones, and I don't want those anymore. So let's grab our upgrader here and say, switch the small to medium poles. Excellent. We'll copy. We'll do that. I'm just going to start upgrading this beauty. It is going to be done with reds. So there we go, that's already swapped them out. And then I want the uh, the other way. I want these greens to go down to blues, because that's what we have right now. Okay, that's good. Kaboom. Now the next thing, uh, hi guys, you're gonna go power polling on me. Hey, it's fine, I'm okay with this. Uh, what I'm not okay with is how this outside lays out. I wonder if this should be, hold on. Hold on, friendly power, or friendly bots. Can I do this in a way that, yes I could. I totally could. So what, this is going to take a lot of undergrounds, but I could do like this, right? And then this thing can be moved like that, and then we can have an extra line. I approve. How do I make this work? Um... What I do is rebuild it. Oops. There. There. Take this out. Oh no, the bots are coming! <laughs> Swarming me! Um, I, I intentionally wanted to build it before the bots got, got their job in, but that's okay. It's fine, it'll work. Uh, then we'll go down here, we'll do these, and I'll switch the other side as well. Um, it's, uh, it's not a, it wasn't a great design to begin with. It was a theoretical early, basically an early mid-game design. <clears throat> but it's the only one I had a copy of, so... This, this is not too painful to remove. Uh, belts are backwards on the outside here, so we'll have to switch that. That's that's easy enough to do later, before I make a copy of it. And there, okay. Now, um... Let's start here. Run this downward. I think this must have been a copy and paste from the other side sort of scenario. That out, not there. Uh, we'll leave it as far as that goes. Um, oops, don't want to do that actually. I want to do this here, and then this can be copied. So that goes like that. Oh, it won't copy with those in place, huh? Okay, fine. I'll make it this way for now then. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is remove uh, everything that was wrong. We'll fix it, and then we'll copy it over to the left. We'll make a, a print of it and copy it over to the left. So this now goes like here. <clears throat> nope, right there. And I'm gonna upgrade afterwards. We're gonna remind me to remind me before this episode ends. Remind me. I want to fix the uh, yellow inserters all to blues because they're cheap enough, and I've got the f production for them already. So it won't matter that we're uh, using something that may or may not be highly efficient. <clears throat> now this other one is gonna go the other way. Can that work this way? Yes, it could. I su oops, I suppose it could. What I'm going to do, though, is this. <clears throat> and I'm going to copy this. Pardon my voice. Um, I'm not sure if that's still residue. <laughs> Left over from the thing. Uh, okay. So go ahead. Let's, let's get you guys 
to remove all this. Let's go, boys. <clears throat> so now there should be basically nothing that I didn't want in place there. Um, there, 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 and let's go ahead and speed this up a little. <clears throat> that. And that. Good. Perfect. Okay. That should do the trick, yes? I think so. Okay, so now what I want to do is grab our upgrader and tell it to go from yellows to blues. You gotta remember when we're adding things in here that later it'll cause more grief if I don't if I have the wrong thing in there. So right now I've not gotten anything that's that's being uh, inappropriately switched, so we're good for now. <clears throat> now we do have to be a little little quirky with some things like when you make the pipes for instance and you need them on something. We won't have those on a main belt, but with this system we can run them to the outer rim. We can make room, I think, to run them to the outer rim somehow. Yeah, we could put it in like here, probably. No. That might be tight, actually. Might be too grievously hard to do. Hmm. No, because we could dump it out to here with just a reverse... It's not going to fit there. Hmm. Awkward. Very awkward. I'm going to have to try to figure that out, because that might actually become a problem. Alright, so here's the full outer belt for the extras. For anything that needs an extra belt, it'll be out there. Hi, guys. Busy, or what's up? Oh, there we go. I think they just emptied out all my belts by the looks of it. So this, there is a problem I could see that this will have that ability to make, like if I wanted to make, um, well I guess if I'm doing like copper into a machine, I can always just make the next machine be the one that feeds it, I suppose. <clears throat> Probably. So in theory, this should connect. Now our robots should, yeah, I was just going to say, our, our robots should be on their way down here. Where's our grid? I do need to extend the grid. We'll start by extending it down this way. Oh, I might, have, I might just move this entire thing. I probably will move this entire thing. Because, aside from the fact that that's a little awkward of a positioning, let's go ahead and fix that so that grid can be in place. Um... Where's the print? There we go. So this is the tile. Where is it? Straight above me is the four. Okay, and then I just need the yellows across this. Like that. Good. So we can put our grid back in there. Excellent. Okay, so this is fully gridded, except for there's a missing hole there. But what I'm going to do is take this whole thing and we're going to move it. We're going to move it over to here. Do that, do I have room? I do have room. So if I place that there, that's double down orders, so there'll be like a pickup and a replace order. Look at that. Oh, the beauty of it. Oh, that's so good. Ah, that makes my heart happy. Except for the oddball is that they're going to all fly all the way back up there to drop it off. Everything they just took apart, and then they, and then other guys or them are going to fly all the way back down. Our available construction bots are only 170 right now. Which means we have over 600 construction bots running for this order alone. <laughs> Sorry to keep you busy at all, guys, but there you go. Uh, so over here is where I'll put the second one. And uh, recently I had a belt of... Uh, of walkways, pathways, yes, there we go. That can be placed in there. <coughs> for our logistics uh, purposes. For driving and for walking. Because it's nice. Because I like them. Um, and we'll do it across here as well. There we go. And I'm going to actually take this out. Like that, okay, good. <coughs> Again, the drop of the grid. 
Because there's missing pieces here. Ah, yes, the power poles and the edges. Okay, so if I place this... Where is it? This... Here... I could place it in such a way that it would pass that but still not be in the way of that guy. Yeah, that'll work later. I mean, it, after these things get drilled out, right? These guys are, these ones over here are eventually going to get drilled out. And that this will be enough for now. It might actually be enough permanently. I don't know. I tend to always overbuild these logistics lines. But this will be nicely tucked into the grid to the south. So what happens, in theory, is that I'm able to pump in iron and copper and steel green and green circuits and and all the rest into here <coughs> pardon me in a way that will produce um enough of all the logistics that we need now is that going to be too high because thinking of it we do need the green <coughs> green and red circuit we can we can hire those in from from a, from abroad yeah that'll do we can definitely bring those in from from distance. Why is that connected but that one's not? How is that even possible? How, how does that not connect? Is this pole too busy? Because that's part of the same grid that's worked dozens of times. I find this very strange. It shouldn't this connect straight across to this? I feel like it should. We'll do that for now. So we can see the output quite better. That's interesting. Okay, so this is going to get uh, built eventually. They're, they're, they're going to do their thing. Uh, what else do we need? Well, I think the iron input would be a good choice. But where, where from, where to? We're going to need the iron, we're going to need steel. Do we have another... Oh my god, the nuclear over there still needs to be tapped. This is a smaller iron than I was hoping. There's another patch up there. Seven and a half million is pretty good. There is one right here. 3.4 million there and a big hunk of copper and the stone. I wonder if maybe... Oh, and there's some oil over there. Okay. <clears throat> that is a good choice for where we're going to grab stuff later. Uh, next plan then... Trying to think this through rationally, guys. I know it's a weird thought for Drake to be doing that, but I'm trying to plan this through intelligently. So this will produce our logistics. Is there anything that we're going to need down here that... Oh, you guys are you guys are working hard to catch up to me. Oh, they're right. They're filling my logistics orders. How many belts did I ask them for? Oh, yeah, that's right. Cheapers. Still swarming at me from all angles. Uh, let's use the map then. <clears throat> okay, is there anything up in the base that we that we do need to be produced? Probably our defensive units, which will not, which are currently not planned. At least I didn't intentionally plan to have them in uh, in that logistics thing. I could get away with it. We could have things like the cliff explosives because they'll need grenades and steel. Hmm. See, there's so much that's, like, intermixed that you're never going to have steel barrels on a, on a bus, right? Um, you're not likely to have grenades on a bus. Although grenades are used for science, you're not likely to have them on a bus. So I could, I could have logistics systems do that. Because, of course, we are very slowly... What's the number on this? 76! Wow, you guys are tanking along. <laughs> uh, we could slowly set up... My goodness, that's really slow. Um, jeepers. Uh, we get we could set up the uh, logistics systems. Once that's in place, once that's researched, then we can definitely do, um, do provider and requester chests. So we could have a have grenades made somewhere else that's made for, for instance, for the military, and just have a supply chest that would then be botted over to stuff like this. That's fine. And that can be on the logistics line. So that'll work, right? Like, this will be on there. It'll get the steel barrels. We can have a container beside it if we need to, to throw steel barrels in, whatever. Um, or, yeah, that's probably how we'd do that. And then uh, the grenades would be delivered and the whatever else it is. Explosives, I guess, delivered. Explosives are, again, these are... this That stuff down there doesn't have liquids in it. 
and uh, that might be a problem future for future Drake. I'm not sure. Everything else seems to be doable up here. The batteries might be a, a challenge. Where are we going to bring the batteries or build the batteries? Um, <clears throat> sulfuric acid. What we need right now, or what we have right now, I should say, is um, is the three oils cracking on the east. Well, that's just not built because it's outside of logistics range. Well, that's the problem. I'm wondering why that was the case. Um. There we go. Now it'll get built. And then all that'll be, be... Yeah, all that'll be placed. Okay. So... We will have an output for this oil. And this can come all the way down. Literally all the way down to in, into here. Okay. And we can even run the piping so that it runs down through, like, one of these lines. Yes, I can do that. Yes, indeed I can. Okay, what about um, we see how this is going to pan out? Are we going to get lucky enough to place these? Oh, we are. Okay, this grid was stupidly lucky placed. Stupid lucky, Drake. Sometimes I'm half decent at stuff. Other times I'm just stupid lucky. Ask my brothers when we used to play Risk. They'll they'll support the lucky hypothesis for sure. All right, let's uh, now that the robots have settled themselves down a little, a lot. Go for a drive. I need a mod that doesn't do the autofill turrets, but just autofills my car at this stage in the game. I know this is weird having these like, oops, having these things just on the other side of the the line, but that's okay. Right? We might build on that side at some point. So, you know, if that happens, at least they'll be in the right place. Um, okay, I could do this. Oops. Oh All right, now where is that gonna land? Gotta get it right, gotta get it right, gotta get it right, right, right. Uh, so two from the bottom. Right there. Right there. That should solve it. Oh, excellent. Okay. <clears throat> now, up here, this grid will connect in... Well, honestly, the grid's gonna end there. You're darn right it is, because we're going to have too much confusion. It'll run right into, as I, as I mentioned, how perfect everything was. It won't match what's up here, which is fine. We can put in the uh, robo ports in the middle, slightly offset, as long as they link. That'll be good, all good. <clears throat> okay. Now, did we, I think we had those being produced somewhere, didn't we? I thought we did. I'm pretty sure I, I had that being produced somewhere. Okay, so that's going to connect then. That grid runs nicely. Oh, I just did. I actually did just shut that off, didn't I? That guy is going to link it, though. Yeah, that'll be relinked with the very confusing power lines. Okay. All that's being built. So the logistics system is manually producing everything we need, or consistently producing everything we need for that. Um, and yeah, the oil line should definitely come down through one of these. <clears throat> Underneath all this. I think that's going to be the go-to. So let's, let's go up there and do that. I'll drive up to the top. <clears throat> Pardon me. Need to grab a beverage. <clears throat> oh my goodness. <clears throat> my sincere apologies, guys. <clears throat> Now, power pull, or, or liquid pull, pipe. All right, all of these run, will run directly south. <coughs> Grab my uh, pocket car. Oh, look, we got some tanks. <laughs> what I want to do is set this. Oh, yeah, of course it is. Um... Oh, 
Oh, what am I doing? Not at all what I want to do. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing the wrong thing. So this is our line here. You're going to go... Um, hold on. <clears throat> this is the connection that's going to go down. That's on the other side of it. Okay, so somewhere in here we'll have them connecting. That's fine. Can I do... I don't even have any power poles? Really? Okay. All right, fine. Uh, pipes. Now, do we do it on this side or the other side? I think, uh... Maybe we do it on this side because down on the bottom, I think the, uh, beacons come right in here. So this should do. If I copy this, we go below. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Not like that. That does not copy directly. <sighs> not like the multi one of a one at a time thing. <clears throat> oh, that's convenient. There, and then it goes to there. Right, nice shorter one. And I think what we'll do is we'll put pumps in here. Right? Can we do that? Should we do that? I don't think that matters. Or maybe it does. It's been mentioned to me to make sure I use pumps before, so let's do that. Um, and those would be where? Up here? Yes. Let's copy a pump. So we'll do it like this. Pumping the oil, the liquids down. Yes. And then what I want to do is... Uh, Awkwardly, I made that right in the spot where I'm gonna have a visual obstruction here. Uh, I can do this, I guess. Right, that way my my print will be clean. So we'll go there to there. Like that. Okay. There, and then we're gonna put in these uh, and then this line is gonna have to connect like there somehow so I'm not certain how this is gonna work best strange um, there on this side There, actually there, and there would be a reasonable way to do that, I suppose. Nope, that's not going to work at all. Something like that. Let's see. That connects, this one goes up, if we want it to. Why is this so complicated? Uh, cross points for these things always catch my catch me off guard. Um, so this could go up if needs be, and this has to be a sol an underground, and there, and there. Yes, yes. <clears throat> okay, that will connect from over here somehow. There and there, there and there. There and there. Bing, bang, boom. Uh, nope. Dang it. Empty. This goes not there, but there. Connect the light oil. And this one goes there. Connect heavy. There we go. Just didn't give myself enough space. All right. Petroleum, light, and heavy oil running down the line. And they will, at some point, run down the line when my roboports and stuff get done. Do I have even have uh, those guys being made? I don't think I do. I'm pretty sure we don't have actual pumps in this system. What does a pump take? Probably a, um, an engine, steel, and pipe. Huh? 
An engine, steel, and pipe. Honestly, I think what we'll do... How many do we have? Like, 56? Yeah. Um, engine, steel, and pipe. Hmm. No easy way to do this, so I'm just going to stuff this in here. Tell it to make engines, throw in what we have, and uh, tell it to export into something like that. Do this thing, will you? I oops, I placed it poorly. There we go. I can go away. I can go in. Why am I doing it like this? Seriously. Why don't I just do it here? Even if it's not connected to anything. That's fine. Okay, now I go in there and tell them to grab what they need. And you can be told for reasonable purposes to make 50 your number. Or, you know, whatever. 100 is fine. I don't really care for that. 200 is fine. It doesn't matter. Just don't stop as long as there's materials there. Because I don't have any genuine input for that. There we go. Okay. Now they're going to make some of those for us. We're good. And uh, I'll let the, the network take the rest of those on. Okay, so this system would then allow the piping to come down, right? Where's my system? There we go. And that will should line up perfectly right there. Yes? Okay, my robots cannot do this work, please. We have other things to do, friends, later. I just don't want to have to wait and keep up with you. That's the problem. Oh, you still going, dude? All right, come on. You shut off now, so stop. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. All y'all, get in there. Um, ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da not the one I was looking for. This is the one I was looking for. Okay. Place, uh, paste that. Oh, nice. Look at that. It lands right on the belt or between the tracks. So good. Makes me happy in my soul. Smiles at you all. Right through the camera that I don't have attached. <clears throat> I do have a webcam. And I've never used it. Would you guys be interested in webcam? Would that make a difference to you? I don't know. Now, this is interesting. What do we do with the outputs of these? Do we need heavy oil, for instance, piping down these giant lines all this way? I don't know. Probably not. But at some point, up top, we'll introduce the... Well, the cra the, the, the line... These lines come after the cracking. The crack balancer. Um, so that's okay. Do we make a sulfur line down here, a sulfur maker down here, and a green circuit maker down here, and a red circuit maker down here to feed this stuff? Right? This logistics system right here, we could use space right in here to make just the materials for what's needed here. That would be not entirely unreasonable. Um, because then that would be a top priority feed to make all the logistics parts that we need so that we can continue to build the base so say say down the line we have a shortage where we oops balances and surprise i know it's never gonna happen of course but if we ever balance something wrong and not magically perfect and we ended up without um enough um say red circuits or something having them prioritize uh might be worthwhile Come on, dudes, where's the rest of my... Oh, no, I don't have any. No more cliff explosives. All right, make make ten of them. Come on, boys, you can do it. One, two, three. Yeah, there's some good work needs to be done here. Toss them. Toss them grenades once they're done. Here we go. Um, yeah, so if that ever were to happen, then at least the priority work would be being done by... Hello? Yes. At least the priority work would be being done... Oh, beacons are going in place! by the uh, logistic system to rebuild all of our supplies first rather than having times where where our 
<laughs> I love watching them do the grenade work. Um, uh, the... I need three more of those. On each of these points. What was I saying? Words. Uh, oh yeah, the prioritizing so that the um, the logistics production facility always gets top priority because a you know it's kind of building the logistics that the base needs. That's the premise, anyways. I like the idea. Probably where we'll go with it. So what do we do? Do we do a just a yellow and a red like we have up top, like a simple six? Maybe 12 red. Um, if we're doing that, then we would probably... Oh, are you guys bringing me explosives? Did I say bring me 100 explosives? Apparently I did. Oh yeah, so I can pocket feet, pocket build these when they do. That's fine. Um, and then that just gives another order for another 100. Yeah. I think that might be a good way to do this. Set up a green and a copper, or sorry, set up a green and a red. All right, let's think this through. We need a feed of green circuits, we need red circuits, we need batteries. The chemical plants, and do I have any? Not have any apparently. Um, so we need batteries. We need uh, green circuits. We need red circuits. I'm not gonna do anything with blue circuits in this, I don't think. Um Now there is like, you can make, I think I'll make the belt manufacturing facility separate from this. In fact, I know I will. The one that we've got up top is actually a legitimately good copy. So let's see, let's look at our blueprints. Um, not belt balancer, where was it? Oh yes, that's right, a robo station. Forgot all about him. Mm-hmm. That's actually a really good facility. A really nice facility, actually. It's totally self-contained with only a few inputs. Uh, Robo 3x3, really? Man, I forgot I had that with me. Okay. I thought, though, I... There, belt builder. This is the one I need. Now, but where do we place this? I think the right thing would be to do... To do would be to place it somewhere in there. But at the same time, we might be better to place it like over here or you know over here's probably good in fact i will place that down right there that's gonna chew up so much of that iron what i will do though is change that what i'll do is i'll put that here and then this iron that comes off this smelting line be prioritized down into here. And where was that again? Did I just did I just remove it? Probably pulled it off the. Did I? Mm hmm. Or did I? Oh no. Okay. If you don't if you don't build it. Oh, okay, I see. So if you don't move it, you're just taking it with you. That works. Okay. That's fine. I like it. Um. leave spacing in here there instead of there just so that it skips the power pole so these are this is fine they're just gonna do their whatever with basic uh, inserters and things that they need clear the road put the power poles in put some red belt in um, and it'll be switched up to red belt entirely. That's fine. And then there'll be logistics chests and all the rest of it that have to go in place. 
These are currently set as blue assemblers, yes, and these ones have should have oil uh, fluid borders on them, no? Oh, because I don't have the blue uh, belt um, research done yet, so that's fine. Okay, that's in place. So the belts will be made separately, so I'm not going to build any belt stuff in here. We will build inserters in here. Um, I think we'll do the red circuit items on this side. Let's see what we might need first. What needs red circuits that need to go in here? I'm going to have to give this some thought. Okay, so if we're going to do that, we need batteries, we need steel, which we have, copper, green circuits, gears, we do need gears, um, need some gear making, some red circuits, green circuits, batteries, the rest is like pipes and stuff like that, and engines to make fluid end or to make the other engines, um, Although I don't... do we need? Yeah, we will. As the robot system. Although, we again, we could place that RoboPort building unit somewhere in here as well. And that might be a good uh, build. Right, if we built this RoboPort station, could we get him down here? Probably. We could build him down here nicely. Where would we build him? Do I want it right below the belt builders? Probably. So let's give it enough of a berth to pass that comfortably. And look at that, we can slide it in and leave the cliff. That makes me feel good. <clears throat> yes, I like this. I like this a lot. So we'll we'll bring in the components we need to make the robots here. We'll bring in the components, we, or the materials, rather, to make the robots here. We'll bring in the materials we need to make all our belts, all three tiers of them, right in here. And they're already logistic. This will be, this will get that going. Good. And then this is going to be our primary logistic system. So no bots, no belts. Leave your weapons here. That'll work. Now that is off the grid. Oh yes, of course it's off the grid. Because you are off the grid, dude. You are so off the grid. Um, this is where we put those one. Let's go down here. That in. A little bit. One, two, three. And there isn't one there. Okay, that's fine. There is other ones over here, though. They're already in place. Um, all right. Now, all of this, I just got to think of what, what, I got to rationalize the process of what I put in there and where. Is there anything else we need? Let's look up top again, see if there's anything that I'm missing, obviously, that I can figure out that I'm missing from here. So we got steel, we got copper, iron and copper on one, uh, gears and green on the other, steel is on both sides, batteries on one, and the other's going to have red circuits. So this won't have steel doubled on this one. And this, this the robots won't be in here. So that's an, a whole chunk of unnecessary, which is fine. It'll be uh, future problems. Um, what's this guy use again? Oh, and engines, yes. So that's the thing. We need to find things that use engines, for instance. Like, uh, that uses engines, and um, this uses engines. I don't think our electric does. No. So these obviously need to be on either side of the engines, but the engines have to have pipes connecting them. So we'll have to have two engine makers, probably. Yeah, that's probably what we'll do. Can't see anything other than like the batteries and the red circuits. It's going to be an issue. Okay. Well, let's start with the basics here. So if you go, okay, the red circuits are going to be, if we count this as being the top. Oops. What would be the easiest way to do this? Yeah, if the engines are down here, probably the batteries should be. Or is that actually legit? No, the batteries run the solar, uh, the, the uh, sorry, accumulators and 
The other ones run up for the robo ports, which we don't need. Lasers need batteries. Accumulators need batteries. That's it. That is it. So a tiny trickle of batteries. Like, very tiny. Um... Red circuits, we don't really use a lot, and actually none of it gets taken except for, for the inserters. That's the first piece. So we can move all these inserters down the line, put in our power poles, put in our... Um... Rigs? Yeah? What's this grabbing? I'm trying to grab. What does that need? Um... Nothing. What? Oh, you're full. You don't even need that. That was probably something else. Okay. Um, yeah. And then we can put, like, the trains, train things down here. We can put in our pipes, gears, flame turrets, and then another set of these three to make those. That's really, really a lot. That is a crazy lot. To do. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I can think of a way to do that. Pipes, undergrounds. Then we'll do um, these guys, these uh, uh, inline pipes. Then a machine for engines. And then the pipes, and then an engines, and then flame turrets. That'll take five to produce from two products. That's that's okay with me. Then the train pieces, the lasers, solar, accumulators. These can be on either spot. Oh, and we don't have any chests being produced in here, and that's something we can do. Probably at the end of a line. Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to start um, on this side. No, on this side. We're going to start over here. <coughs> And we'll set these up for power poles. Medium and large. Now, what does it take to get these guys in? We do need red there, which is, means it needs to be on this side. Red, steel, and copper. Okay. That's fine. Now, on this side, we had the assembly machines in some sort of order. And then this one's going to be the green assembly machines. And after that, I want the... <clears throat> pipe and undergrounds, and I do want those separated from the regular, because we've got the space to work with. And then we're going to have those guys, and then they need to get fed with an engine. And then the engines need to get fed by pipes. And then again on this side there's more engines, and then this is our flame turrets. And since we're over here already, we will probably have batteries by that point down the line, yes we will, so we're going to put in... <coughs> um, where is it? We can put in solar, and then accumulators, and then uh, we'll put in our laser turrets. Yeah. Okay, I like that sequence. Uh, on this side, we have our power lines in place. Um, and then what? I want the inserters down the end, but we could put repair packs in um yeah let's do repair packs the where are the assembly machines not assembly machines um drills do we not have the drills in here i think i switched them we're not actually making drills indeed we are not not in here anyways interesting very interesting okay you guys have a really low requirement, and you're on the top lane for steel. Beacons could be up there. Yeah, let's do beacons and roboports. <clears throat> the beacons are going to need a copper feed. Beacons, roboports, repair packs, uh, oil uh, rigs, and drills. Okay. So in a sort of bit of a backward order, drills, oil rigs, repair packs, <clears throat> and then I also wanted to have a copper feed going into 
the beacons. I don't think I'll get this all set up today, but we're getting somewhere. Planning ahead anyways. To there. Okay. That covers a lot of the things. And then this side is definitely the one I want the um, inserters on. So I think we'll go red, yellow, blue. I don't even think I need purple. I'm not going to do purple. Yellow get fed, by, green get fed by blue, and white get fed by green. Okay. And white. Okay. That works. Now, nothing in here should need a secondary item, right? Oh no, these guys need pipes. Crappy doodles. Crappy doodle day. Uh, let's go with. Uh, like that. Move it all down on. This is pipes. <laughs> Pardon me. All, all that because I oops on that one thing. Okay, so I don't think any of you guys have needs that would be off the line, right? So these are yeah, they don't actually use directly use uh, secondary or intermediate items. They use intermediates, but we've got everything but the pipes, and we'll produce the pipes right beside it. You're fine. You're good. Feed that guy. You're feeding there. You're good. Reds feed from yellows, yellows feed to blue as well, blue feeds to green, green feeds to white, and that's all of those in place. Okay, lasers and accumulators need batteries, which will come in there somehow. You got everything you need. We need pipes and engines here. Oh, we need pipes and engines here. Okay, and you need what? You need pipes and engines as well. Okay, well I can just switch these for that half. So that goes pipes, this goes uh, underground. So the pipes and engines can both feed in there. So let's do that. Okay, you feed to this guy as well. You're going to all feed there and there. Um, now that's fine. Engines, feeding pipes, feeding them. This guy does need engines and pipes. Again, cheapers. Okay. This becomes pipe. This is a lot of, of pipe, a lot of intermediate items to make this. That's why I made it so long. And I can make a second if I need to. I don't think we'll need to, but it's it's an option. Okay, so you only need batteries here, which are going to be on the line. This is batteries and iron. You're all basics. Immediate. You got what you need, okay? Except for the whole point of that is to have pipes connected to that. This has to connect to that. There, there, up to there. Good. Uh, you need a pipe link. You no, no, no. You guys link this way. These go out of the way. We don't have those at all. <clears throat> Anything that's an intermediate loses its link. The outside world. Da, 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 da. That's good, good, good. Pipes do not go there except for the one up north. Um, the engines, we could have the engines being put in a container, but do we want that? I don't think so. I don't think I want any engines going into those at all. But this is the actual pipe and belt scenario, so that's good. This does not need to be stored. Fine with not fussing with the upgrade to those. Okay. I'm not certain what else we need, but I, I'm sure we'll need some more stuff. Let's check. Is there anything else that we can think of that we have up here that we don't that we need to produce? Those guys are in place. We got all that in. Yes. Oh, the trains. Yep. Regular signals and chain signals. Did we do beacons? We did. Yep. The bots are on their own space. Regular signals, chain signals. Okay, let's put those in. Um, not sure which side. Uh, they don't need to be over here. I think. Hmm. Let's put them here for now, just for balance. I don't know if that's the right move. We can always shuffle it. 
Now I don't. I'm not going to do um, these like engine uh, actual um, rolling stock. We're not going to do any rolling stock in in the assembling machines here. Wouldn't hurt to have one of those on though. No, we can do those in hand. They're like super cheap. Uh, train tracks are going to be built separately. Each sold separately. I uh, wouldn't mind having lights. I mean, who'd have thunk, eh? At some point, that might be a good idea. Uh, furnaces, unfortunately, take brick, which we will not have in here as of yet. We could uh, remedy that. And red. So if we did brick and red, we would need to actually have the brick come in with the other belt. But then that's just a... Probably going to produce more than that. Do we do them in here, though? Where would the brick come from? Well, the brick would come from our smelting over here, which would probably be a single line smelting in here. Adding on to a separate track. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind that idea. Half stone, half brick. Hmm, okay, that's an option. We might put those in. It wouldn't hurt to have them being produced because if we do these smelting facilities like this, right? That's a lot of electric furnaces. Why is that not going in place? Did I oops something there? Like, why is that entirely blocked out of my vision? Just the radar positioning? Must be. Gotta be. There's radar up here? What? It just seems like a weird mesh of me Oh, because this one crosses into. Oh, I see what's going on. Alright, fair enough. Uh, and oh, we don't have any radar in a, in a box. That's part of the problem. There's like literally no radars in a box. Let's just throw down. I don't have a yellow. I do have a yellow box. Let's throw down a yellow box and throw my radar in there and let them get to. <clears throat> Thanks, guys. Try that again. <laughs> there. You got some radar? Go. Do it. Oh, speaking of which, yeah, of course. Radar should be in the system, too. Uh, what does radar take? Just the basics? Okay. We can do that. Let's put it on the left here. Okay. I approve of this. Now, before we connect these lines... I want to make sure, I'm not going to do it right now, but what I'm going to do is throw a line across here to remind me that before I connect these lines, I want to make sure all of this is balanced, so the right, the blues are actually linking into that, and that the right order is on here, right, for each of those. I got to double check to make sure, in between episodes, I'm going to double check to make sure I put these in reasonably, and let you guys give me some feedback to see if I screwed anything up. I'll take a gentle walk down the line. Uh, so, up at the top, on the left, we got the assemblers. Right is power, right down to there. We got our actual pipe production here. Um, drills, pumps, uh, repair packs, roller ports, beacons. Up there is the flame turrets, uh, radar, uh, solar and accumulators, lasers, train pieces, inserters all down there. And over here is the radar. That moved me faster than I could speak. Okay, I think that's a good plan. Fairly sure it's a good plan. I'm gonna burn through this stuff as rapidly as possible. There's only like 700 and something pieces there. That's good. So we wanna, we wanna wear out all this material as quick as we can. Okay, what are you running off to do? Oh, logistic stuff. So then the question is... Oh my goodness, I'm almost at an hour. The question is, tomorrow we decide on where how we're going to input these components. So we need, aside from the raw or process resources, the iron plate, the copper plate, the steel plate, um, we're going to need gears, we're going to need green, we're going to need red, and we're going to need batteries. I think that's all we need to make this work. The four base uh, green and gears are in one belt, copper and iron are in another belt, steel goes, double from uh, goes on both sides and the inside of these, and uh, batteries are all set to be on the left, and and not steel, uh, red circuits all set to be on the right. However, not sure that I needed this extra belt. There's something missing here. 
Was that for the pipes and the gears and stuff? I don't know. We'll see. This might be overdue, overdone now that I think about it. Anyways, that's it for today, though. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining me. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of the day. It grows. It grows. We'll see you in game. <laughs>